Hi guys and welcome to another episode tutorial with me Joseph Evans, author of The Ember Effect, The Phoenix Prophecy and The Secret Sequence. Uh, so this time we're going to be looking at how to correctly use uh, zones in your story. Uh, so for this video I have chosen the Romantic Lakeside uh, background and it's this one right here and as you can see it's quite a wide one which means that we have a total of four zones to work with. So Let's go back to the script here, and I'm just going to have a character enter from the left to the screen center of the first zone. Now, what happens is when you choose a background like this that has multiple zones, it automatically defaults to the first zone, which is the furthest on the left-hand side. So this one right here with this picnic in it. So we'll have Aya. She enters from left to uh, screen center in that uh, default zone and what you might want to do when you do use a background like this is have the camera kind of pan across to the other side and then pan back so that the reader can uh, see the whole background to begin with for this all you need to do is write uh, the pan command so at pan to uh, zone 4 which is the furthest zone and then you're going to want to put a uh, pause for a beat in here because if you pan straight back, uh, what happens is it looks a bit abrupt. So just have that pause for a beat there and then just write pan to zone one all the way back. And uh, I'll just show you what that looks like. Now, another thing you might want to do is have your character uh, walk to the other sides of the background. And um, of course, if you just type in the words Aya walks to screen center in, in zone four, uh, the camera will stay in zone one and uh, she will walk off screen and we won't know what's happening. So what we want to do is have the camera follow the character to that zone. So to do this, we need to use the follow command. So all you need to do is write at follow and then your character's name to let's say screen center in zone four and here is a clip of that okay now another thing you might want to do is have your camera cut uh, straight to another zone without panning to it so um let's have a uh uh, she faces left here so she can see who's entering the scene and just pause for a beat so we can actually see her facing left and then I am going to use the cut command so at cut to zone one and that'll just get that camera straight back to that first zone and we're going to have uh, Secri enter the scene so Secri enters from left and I'll say uh, to screen left so here's what that cut command looks like. Okay, now the only other thing you might want to do is have your characters walk from foreground positions to one of the background positions uh, and have the camera following them while they do that. So uh, let's have uh, Secri walking from where he is to uh, one of the background positions in the second zone. So let's write at follow Secri to uh, back uh, far left in zone 2 and then we're going to cut to A zone so let's cut to zone 4 and then we're going to have it follow A to uh, back right in zone 2 so they're going to end up uh, facing each other in the background of uh, the second zone so here is a clip of that Okay, so that is uh, pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's all you need to know, really. Just those three commands, uh, pan, cut, and follow. So any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I will try to answer them uh, as soon as I can. And good luck with your own stories. I will see you in the next video.